Today I'm going to talk about a Hall sensor. Uh, I'm going to tell you what a Hall sensor does. I'm going to show you an example of how to use one and I'm going to explain this wiring schematic here. So what I have here is I have a magnet, a Hall sensor, a battery, a resistor, and a diode. A Hall sensor is basically an on and off switch. When a magnetic field crosses it, it tells the switch to turn on, and when the magnetic field is past it, it tells it to turn off. What I have here is I have positive hooked to pin one, and I have it also hooked to the positive side of the LED. Then I also have it connected here on pin one over to the resistor, going through the resistor and onto the negative side of the LED. I have the negative side of the battery coming over and connecting to pin two. And this here is my example of a hall sensor, which is a whole lot simpler than what that sheet looks like to make. So I have my LED. I have a real small resistor right here, so I don't put too much power into the LED to burn it up. And this little piece right here is the hall sensor, which is real tiny. Uh, hall sensors are used for door alarms. They're also used for crankshaft positioning sensors in cars, for the timing of the automobile, and different things like that. A hall sensor does not have to be touched with the magnet in order to work. It just needs a magnetic field near it. And this is an example of what I'm saying. I'm going to take this it's a neodymium magnet and just get it near the sensor. And you can see the sensor turns on and then back off as the magnet gets close and goes away.